I've been covering comic content for a long time now, whether it be on TikTok or now on YouTube. When I cover comic content, I usually search for the things that are eye-opening or jaw-dropping and get your guys' attention the most. Now, when I dive into this deep hole of looking for comics to cover, I usually find myself diving into the rabbit hole of weird comics as well. Take product placement comics, for an example. Product placement comics are usually like kind of short stories that center around the product that they're showing, maybe with a celebrity as well, and they take out a huge villain like, take for example Doomsday with a Snickers bar. And by the way, I think it's actually canon that Doomsday can be defeated by a Snickers bar. But while in this rabbit hole of reading these weird comic books, I found myself reading a story that aged like milk. It's a Subway slash DC crossover that highlights several athletes and what they get for subs. And the stories end up being kind of weird where Mr. Freeze or maybe Darkseid just decides one day he wants to rob a subway and then the celebrity will probably throw a sub or a chipotle sauce at them. It will distract them long enough for Green Lantern, let's say, to defeat them and then Green Lantern or Superman or whoever it is will eat a sub with them. It's very odd. Like, I kind of chuckled a bit when Ryan Howard and C.C. Sabitha, I think I said that name right, defeat Darkseid single-handedly while Green Lantern just sits on the sidelines. It's... Like, what do you say to that? While I find myself reading these, I can't help but think if I had Speed Force powers, I would just travel back in time and make sure this never happened. Because in the fourth and final issue of this crossover event, the biggest piece of shit of them all is actually in the end. Jared Fogel, that famous guy known for the Subway commercials until he turned out to be a huge child predator. And reading this, I felt so disgusted because this is a medium for kids and adults alike, so finding this out irked me to my core with this stupid smile. Basically, in the story, Green Lantern has trouble taking on a Manhunter bot and Layla Ali with the other. See the commotion. Layla runs off to help Green Lantern and the two beat the shit out of the bot while Jared sits off in the sidelines like a useless piece of shit. And then the Justice League arrived to clean up the mess. And what pisses me off so much about this comic the most is that Superman doesn't shake Layla's hand, the one that took out the Manhunter bot with Green Lantern, but he shakes the fucking child predator's hand as they later fly off. And Layla rightfully running away from the slimy stain of a person called Jared. Fuck your footlong.